Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up another challenging question from exponential equations. It is root 81 plus root 80 whole power x square minus 3 over 2 plus root 81 minus root 80 whole power is x square minus 3 over 2 equal to 18. And we have to find out all real solutions. I will be sharing two approaches to proceed this question. So let me write here approach number 1. Here I will be writing square root 81 plus square root 80 whole power x square minus 3 over 2 plus root 81 minus root 80. Now I will rationalize our numerator root 81 plus root 80. Same I will multiply here also root 81 plus root 80 whole power is x square minus 3 over 2 RHS is 18. Now this is a minus b a plus b. So here we can write difference of two squares formula. So I will be writing in next step root 81 plus root 80 whole power is x square minus 3 over 2 plus here I can write root 81 square minus root 80 square divided by root 81 plus root 80 whole power is x square minus 3 divided by 2 RHS is 18. Now root and power will be over. So 81 minus 81. So I will write root 81 plus root 80 whole power is x square minus 3 over 2 plus 1 over root 81 plus root 80 whole power is x square minus 3 divided by 2 and RHS is 18. Now we can use substitution. Straight away we will consider this exponent equal to a. Let me write here. Let root 81 plus root 80 whole power x square minus 3 over 2. Let us call a. So our equation will become, let me write our equation root 81 plus root 80 whole power was x square minus 3 over 2 plus 1 over root 81 plus root 80 whole power x square minus 3 over 2 and RHS was 18. Now I will write our equation a plus 1 over a equal to 18. Of course a is non-zero as it is exponential function. So I can multiply both sides by a. So I will write a plus 1 by a. This will be equal to 18a. So a square plus 1 equal to 18a or a square minus 18a plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will solve this quadratic using quadratic formula method. a square minus 18a plus 1 equal to 0. a will be equal to minus b. Minus of minus 18, 18 plus minus under the root b square minus 18 a square which will be 324 minus 4ac. So minus 4 only divided by 2a, so 2. 18 plus minus, this will be e square root 320 divided by 4. Or I can write 18 plus minus, this is 16 times 20. So I can write 4 root 20 divided by 2. 
So a we can write nine plus minus two root twenty. Now two can be written as root four. Root four times root twenty. So finally we can write a equal to nine plus minus root eighty. Or I can write root eighty one, which is nine plus minus root eighty. So one by one we will put this a value to our substitution. So a was let me write here root eighty one plus root eighty whole power was x square minus three over two. Now this will be equal to root eighty one plus root eighty. Next time we will put here minus sign. Now power is one. Bases are same, so we can compare our exponents. So this should be equal to one, as our bases are identical. So I can write here x square minus three over two equal to one. Cross multiply, I can write x square minus three equal to two. X square. Equal to three plus two, which will be five. Considering a square root both sides, I will be having x is equal to plus and minus square root five. Now I will compare with minus sign in between. So root eighty one plus root eighty whole power. X square minus three over two equal to root eighty one minus root eighty. Now I will rationalize, so I can write this equal to one over root eighty one plus root eighty. Now I will take this denominator to numerator root eighty one plus root eighty. Whole power will be minus one. Now I will write our LHS root eighty one plus root eighty. Whole power is x square minus three over two. Now again we have bases same, so we can equate our exponents. So I can write here x square minus three over two equal to negative one. Multiply both sides by two. Minus three equal to minus two. X square equal to three minus two. It will be one. So I will write x will be equal to plus minus one. So we have got four solutions. Plus minus root five. Plus minus one. Now method number two or approach number two. Let me write here. Here I will begin with simplification first. We can simplify the base, and let me write here. I will be writing here root eighty one plus root eighty. So it is nothing but nine. Plus, and if I will write square root sixteen times five. Further, I can write nine plus four square root five. Now, can we split nine as five plus four plus four root five? Now, five can be written as root five whole square. Four can be written as two whole square. And this I will write two times two times root five, two a b. So it is framing one identity from algebra a square plus b square plus two a b a plus b whole square. So root five plus two whole square. Or we can write root five plus root four whole square. And this is the value of square root eighty one plus square root eighty. 
So directly similar way we can write root 81 minus root 80 will be root 5 minus root 4 whole square. In this approach we won't get the exponents denominator. Let me write here both the values. So I will write our equation as root 5 plus root 4 whole square and then our power x square minus 3 over 2 plus here I will be writing root 5 minus root 4 whole square and then we will have same power x square minus 3 over 2 RHS is 18. Now using exponent property we will cancel power 2 and denominator 2. Power 2 and denominator 2. So it will be left with root 5 plus root 4 and power will be x square minus 3 only. Root 5 minus root 4 power will be x square minus 3 only. Property used here is a power b whole power c. It is nothing but a power b times c. So let me write root 5 plus root 4 power will be x square minus 3 plus root 5 minus root 4 power will be x square minus 3. This is form after simplification. So another approach we can say. Now I will consider again the same steps we will follow. So root 5 plus root 4 whole power x square minus 3. Now I have used the same step of rationalization. So now a minus b, a plus b in the numerator. I will replace our numerator by writing over there 1. So let me write here 1. 1. Now our substitution, this value will be suppose b this time. So equation will be b plus 1 over b equal to 18. So b square minus 18b plus 1 equal to 0. So if I will simplify using quadratic formula, then I will get values. Let me write directly. It will be root 5 plus root 4 or 2 whole square straight away. We can write. Now we have to compare both sides. So it is having plus and minus sign. So I can write here LHS will be root 5 plus root 4 whole power is x square minus 3. This time right hand side is root 5 plus minus root 4 whole power is 2. So now I can write root 5 minus root 4 similar steps it would be 1 over so negative 2. So ultimately we are going to compare x square minus 3 with plus and minus 2 or x square will be 3 plus minus 2 with plus sign will write 5 with minus sign it will be 1. So consider square root both sides will get the same solutions plus minus root 5 and plus minus 1 using simplification approach and this is the end of this video thank you friends for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye